Hi everyone, this video is tips to keep you focused while writing that I've figured out throughout the years. Number one, which is the most important, turn off your phone and tablet and put it in another room. Another room. Not next to you, not on your desk, not charging to the side a few feet away. Another room. And turn it off. Turn both of them off. Because you want to go on Twitter, you want to go on Instagram, you want to check your text messages. Don't do it, don't do it, don't, don't do it. Because you'll be five hours in deep on your phone and you just go, um... That's five hours of writing that I lost on my phone or tablet. Done that. Not a good idea. Number two, schedule breaks. I know that if I go eight hours writing, I don't want to write again for a very long time. Also done that, and it's very important for you to stretch, To and it's really important to give your eyes a break, to give your body a break, so stand up, take walks, eat dinner, lunch, you know, maybe go out for coffee, run a chore or two. It's really helpful to take breaks and to schedule them so you can focus way more on your writing as you're writing it. Number three is plan, plan, plan your writing and editing with an outline or a Scrivener. I actually don't do outlines. I do Scrivener and I break up my chapters and I just go chapter by chapter. That's actually helped me a lot and calmed my anxiety down when I'm writing. I used to do Word document and that was discouraging. <laughs> Seeing my 170 single spaced Word document that still needed to be edited. Yeah, not good. <laughs> Plan out what you want to write or what you think you want to write even because um, some writers just aren't planners and it's kind of a flowing organic thing. That's pretty much me, but I do uh, Have a movie that goes on in my head That's uh, pre-planned, but I'm not that troubled if it steers off If you're a person that needs to plan take at least 30 minutes beforehand and if you're starting a new manuscript take a few weeks maybe even a few months it really depends on the person but planning is key number four focus on small writing go goals instead of big ones I did not do that for a very long time <laughs> and I had a three-month anxiety binge on looking at a huge big normous writing goal versus um, small little ones that could lead up to that big, happy, pretty goal at the very end of the tunnel. So I really suggest small writing goals. My small writing goals for me personally is post my stuff on Wattpad and get feedback and just enjoy writing. Because that wasn't happening for me for at least a year and when you're focusing on big big goals or one huge goal with your writing you can feel really really discouraged and then the fun of writing is taken away and you don't even want to write number five break up your writing sessions into smaller parts so it won't feel so daunting to you when you begin to write this is uh, a bit like scheduling breaks and planning, but don't go in and think, okay, I'm going to edit 50 pages, or I'm going to rewrite the first 15 chapters today. That's a little too much, <laughs> and you start to look at your novel or um, short story or novella whatever it may be, as something that's not fun and it becomes daunting and you're, you begin to feel very stressed.
chest and you feel pressure to get that big goal done versus if you have smaller goals you're you're much more likely to hit those goals and you feel great that you hit those goals number six reward yourself for example if I edit these 10 pages I'll go out for coffee I think it's very important to reward yourself especially when you're feeling down on your writing or yourself and if you hit a goal in your writing or you hit multiple goals reward yourself it feels fantastic <laughs> number seven think positively as you write even if it's difficult save the negativity for after you write I know that can be very difficult as I said but if you're writing and you're picking apart every single thing or every other thing you're not gonna move forward in your writing and you're gonna be stuck and you're going to feel like you want to give up and maybe you do give up and we don't want that no so think positively and if you have any problems I suggest talking to other writers sometimes talking to non writers is also helpful because they have a new um, perspective in your writing and especially if they're readers um, maybe you need to take a longer break like a week two weeks maybe a month that's totally okay but you really need to not think negatively as you're writing because it hinders your writing capacity and your abilities lastly number eight put on some music or background noise I know lots of people can't listen to music with lyrics but classical music is great or you can put on white noise or pink noise supposedly pink noise is a thing or ocean waves anything that relaxes you as you're writing and editing usually I put on lyrical music when I'm writing poetry and that really gets me in the mood so it depends on the person but I would suggest trying that out Thank you all for watching my tips to keep you focused while writing. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, like, subscribe. And if you want to follow me on any of my social medias, you can find all that in the description box below. Thank you.